Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. <laughs> my name is Kemi Omorube. The reason I'm making this video is because every now and then I get messages from people, especially beginners, asking which type of machine should they get first. In this video, we'll be ironing the issue of machines. Yes, sewing machines. What type of sewing machine should I get? This is what I want to do. I'm a beginner. These are the type of outfit I sew. I know it can be a pretty daunting task, especially for beginners and those just coming into the industry because of the lots of options and functionalities of these sewing machines. And even as a beginner or someone just entering into the industry fresh, you want to get the best to start with before maybe getting other types and all that. So yeah, in this video, we'll be addressing everything sewing machines. So come along with me. First, let's start with the different types of sewing machines. We have the manual sewing machines, which is the most common in this part of the world. It has its own pros and cons. Let's start with the pros. One, it is manual, so you don't need an electric power supply. You can pedal manually and you're good to go. And also, I consider it easy to use, but it depends on what perspective you're looking at it from. And in my own opinion, it's perfect for beginners, you know. I believe once you master that particular sewing machine, it won't be difficult for you to work with the other types of sewing machine. The manual sewing machine is mechanical, and so one of the cons is that it needs constant maintenance. Although you can attach an electric motor to your manual sewing machine, and you're able to use that motor to control it, I have a video that will show you exactly how. I'll link it up above and in the description box so you can check it out. So you can do that, and that makes it somehow electrical, right? Yes, so but when it, like I mentioned, one of the cons is that it is mechanical, its parts are mechanical, so you have to keep oiling and maintaining. Often, yes, it needs maintenance. Secondly, you there is a limit to the speed you can achieve with a manual sewing machine because it just depends on how fast you can pedal, and I think that's limiting, okay? So unlike the electrical machines that kind of move faster your speed can be slowed down by using a manual sewing machine even with the electric motor it's still not as fast as most electrical sewing machines another con which you may want to consider is the fact that you can only get one particular type of stitch which is the straight stitch for this type of machine okay you can't make use of your zigzag stitch you can make use of any other type of uh, stitch you can only do a regular straight stitch okay so another type of sewing machine you may want to consider are the domestic sewing machine as the name implies domestic they are not actually for industrial use even though some of us end up using it for business but they are built soft and easy to use such that anybody just interested in sewing even as a hobby can get that at home and use Although in recent times, they are beginning to develop some of those computerized machines that are quite strong and can handle tougher fabrics. But in general, most domestic sewing machines are not built for rigorous work. They are not built for industrial work. One of the con is that it is easy to use. You can use multiple stitches. I have one here that has 34 stitches. We have some with as much as 100, 200 different type of stitches. Some are so computerized that you can draw animals, write alphabets with the sewing machines and, you know, they just handle the entire work seamlessly. So yeah, domestic sewing machines, they are easy to use, but most times the good ones come electrical. So you need power supply to power them before you can use them. And like I mentioned, they are not built for heavy use. Generally, some, okay, most rather, are not built for heavy use duty so when you're doing like multiple layers of laces with the interlining or jean fabric most of them start to struggle except you go for the highly expensive heavy duty type of domestic sewing machine which are not that common on this side of the world so yeah like i mentioned you enjoy your multiple stitches you enjoy the use of electricity that's a smoother drive you know no much effort in pedaling on your part because all you need is just place your leg on the pedal and it's so for you and the maintenance is 
average average maintenance you don't need so much maintenance you have to clean up your machines as well but most of them come with an instruction that you don't even oil it just you know dust it and clean it up every once in a while yeah that's it with the domestic sewing machine we also have another type of machines that are like combined usage they are both manual and electrical they look somewhat like domestic sewing machines but you can also make use of the balance wheel attached to a, you know the regular way the regular mechanism the manual sewing machine works some of them can be used in that way now in my experience right here in nigeria when you want to get those type of sewing machine you may not be able to get it as a new product so you have to get it used and i feel most times they are old and they struggle a lot when you get those used machines you can still get a fairly used domestic sewing machine in a good state but most of the time when you get the combined type they're like older products than the domestic sewing machine so they can come a little bit challenging to use and in recent times i stopped advising my students to get that type of machines because i got a couple of them that are quite challenging to use yeah so if you're a beginner stay away from those combined machines that's those that say domestic electrical use the boat together just get a domestic machine or you get a manual machine in fact get a manual machine and master that first before switching over to a domestic sewing machine that's just my own opinion anyway. An advantage for those domestic slash manual sewing machine is that they also come with multiple stitches. Some of them come with as much as 10, 20, 30 type of stitches. So yes, with that you can do your zigzag, you can do decorative stitches on native wares and all that. And also you enjoy dual usage. That's the fact that you can make use of the electric power supply when it's available and you can switch over to a manual usage when there is no power supplied good one actually it's actually good advantage if you are able to get a good one okay yes but once you lay your hands on a very good sewing machine that has ability to use the electrical and the manual pedaling you're good to go that's like a sweet spot really yeah so next let's move on to the industrial sewing machines so this type of sewing machines they are made for industrial use as the name implies so if you are producing ready to wear like you are constantly sewing pieces th that's the type of sewing machine you should go for now it doesn't take much to maintain you just have to change the oil every once in a while it is very fast very fast the speed can go I, I'm not sure of the figure now, so let me not mention any figure, but it can be really fast. Although you may need time to master working at that pace, if you are a beginner, I won't even advise that you get an industrial sewing machine to start with because you may not be able to keep up with the pace. That speed is just really fast, although you can control it a little bit, but even at that, it is still a very fast machine. So that is a pro, actually, the fact that you can get a lot of work done in a little time and like I mentioned it is easy to maintain it doesn't take so much oiling constantly you just have to do your cleanup and change your oil like once in three to six months and you're good to go with another advantage with the industrial sewing machine is the fact that you can work with heavy fabric heavy duty some can even sew leathers so although there are different types of industrial sewing machines and they perform specific function. I think we'll put this under a con because most industrial sewing machines make just one type of stitch. You can get the zigzag stitch match, match industrial, sewing, industrial sewing machine that will just handle zigzag stitches. You can get the hemming industrial machine that will handle just hemming. You can get one for weaving and all of that. So one of the con is that you can only have, okay, Within my knowledge anyway, the most popular type of sewing machine we have here is this right behind me, which does just the regular straight stitch. So most time you may have to get other sewing machines to do other things. So yeah, most of them have just a particular type of stitch they can handle. Another con, another disadvantage is the fact that you can only make use of power supply. I don't know of any manual industrial sewing machine right now. No, I don't know of any. So you need constant power supply to use them or you need a good powered generator, okay, to handle them. 
So that is a major con, especially if you're working in a place like Nigeria where power supply isn't that great currently. We are hoping that it gets better with time, but for now, that's one of the challenges you have to deal with as an entrepreneur. You need to weigh these factors against each other when you're considering which sewing machine to get for your business. Okay, please, at this point, just take a quick break, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, drop a comment in the comment section. I want to know that you are following me. Meanwhile, if you have other suggestions, also type it in the comment section. I usually respond to all comments on this channel. Now let's continue. So far I have told you about the different types of sewing machines, the pros and cons for each. So if you are considering the type of sewing machines to buy, here are some of the factors you should look at. One is the price. Okay, I actually forgot to put this as a consideration when I was naming pros and cons. Yeah, industrial sewing machines, they are expensive. So if you're working with a limited budget, industrial sewing machines, no, no, no. You can go for either the manual or the domestic sewing machines. You can get a fair deal at a fair price. So yeah, price is one factor to consider. How much do you have in your pocket? How much do you have to spend? The second is the strength of the sewing machine versus purpose. So if you are a hobbyist and all you want to do is just sew some outfits at home or you want to make amendments or you even want to sew wigs please go for the domestic sewing machine especially if you have a good power supply like i mentioned it is not the best for heavy duty type of sewing tools but since you're not doing much anyway you're just doing it for fun right get that domestic sewing machine that's the purpose for which it was made for and coupled with the Another advantage of doing that is that you can actually get multiple type of stitches. You can get the zigzag, you can make decorative stitches on handkerchief, decorative pieces for decoration at home basically. So your, your domestic sewing machine will do that perfectly for you. Another thing you may want to consider is portability. The most portable of them all are the domestic sewing machines. You can easily take them along wherever you're going. If you are maybe a bridal wear designer, even when you have an industrial sewing machine, you can just get the small domestic sewing machines so that when you're going to deliver your wares, you can easily fit your outfit by just taking along your domestic sewing machine. And also if you know you are likely to move around a lot, maybe you don't have a working store and probably you always move around or you travel a lot and you just need something you can take wherever you are going to, you should consider getting a domestic sewing machine. Yeah. The last but not the least factor you should consider is the power supply, very important. So let's assume you work from home and you have constant power supply. It's a no brainer. You should either get the domestic or the industrial sewing machine. On the other hand, if you know that power supply is an issue, you don't want to suspend your work till only when there is power supply or only when you have fuel in your generator. If you don't want power supply to ever be an issue for you, then you should please go for the manual sewing machines. They don't need power supply at all. You can get your work done by manually pedaling and all of that. So yeah, manual sewing machines to the rescue really. Another factor you may want to consider is your experience in sewing. If for instance, you are already experienced in the use of manual sewing machine, just getting an industrial sewing machine will be an upgrade that will help your pace, that will help you work faster, better, easier, really. You should definitely consider getting an industrial sewing machine. On the other hand, if you're a beginner, I think I have mentioned it earlier on, in my opinion, getting a manual sewing machine helps you get the right foot forward in such a way that using any other sewing machine will not be rigorous for you. Let's assume you started off sewing using a domestic or an industrial sewing machine powered with electricity. Now, going back to use the manual sewing machine when you don't have an option can be, it can be a new learning curve. It's not like it is impossible, but you have to like relearn a lot of things and master using a manual sewing machine. But in as much as you still have to learn if it's the other way around, but you just find it easier to use the other machines. It's like when you're driving a manual car, right? So if you're driving a manual car, easy to switch to an automatic control car, right? But while on the other hand, it's not that easy. It's just the same way basically. 
So in all that I have said, something you should pick out is if you are a beginner, because I get this message a lot from beginners. I'm just starting out, which type of machine do you think is best for me to get? It's really tempting to hop on to getting, um, especially if you can afford it, a domestic or an industrial sewing machine. But I personally prefer teaching first with the manual sewing machine. And yeah, so that's it basically. My hope is that this video will guide you in getting your next sewing machine or your first sewing machine. Don't forget to share this with your other friends, your colleagues that are considering getting a new sewing machine for their business or for personal use. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Give this video a thumbs up, please, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you in the next video. Bye.